Hey guys, well Apple is considering doing a complete 180 and doing something they don't normally do, relying on external services solely to power their own software. Now Apple is generally a self-sufficient company, um, and th this is something that's quite well known. If you look into how Apple operates their business, uh, internally, they're very self-sufficient. They don't really prefer going to outside sources to get things done. However, what is going on here is that they're doing a complete 180 here, and they're doing something... They're, they're taking an interesting approach. Apparently, Apple is considering letting Anthropic and OpenAI... Com or, uh, uh, either or. Uh, Anthropic or OpenAI, or... And I'm not really sure. We'll get into that in a moment. But they're considering letting these other AI companies power Siri. Now, this is a complete 180 as to Apple's earlier approach, which is to make the models in-house for the most part and go to ChatGPT when absolutely necessary. Um, their whole idea is they wanted to make models in-house, but apparently they are considering just going out and completely changing the model, which is strange. So we're going to go ahead and cover it in today's video. Let's get right into it. All right, so we're going to go ahead and start off with this article by TechCrunch. It's kind of a short article, but I do want to dig into this because this is weird. Apple is considering letting Anthropic and OpenAI power Siri as opposed to using their own technology that the company has built in-house, according to a report from Bloomberg. The iPhone maker continues to build out a project internally dubbed LLM Siri that uses in-house models. However, Apple has reportedly asked OpenAI and Anthropic to tra train versions of their AI models that can run on Apple's cloud computing infrastructure for testing. Now, as we all know, Apple has been forced to delay Apple uh, their own like AI-enabled Siri, originally slated for this year, and they pushed it back until 2026 or later due to a series of apparent technical challenges that the company's been running into. Um, I will admit, I don't think it's just technical challenges, I think it's also management challenges, and they've... There's been other articles that have pointed out that Apple has been struggling when it comes down to their own management with AI. They've been, like, really, really struggling. It's kind of bad. Um, so I don't think this is just a, uh, oops, uh, we've been having some issues with our programming. No, 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 no. I think this is more than that. I think this is a genuine management problem at the end of the day. But I guess I could be wrong. Let's keep reading. So, this failure may have been a long time coming. Apple has been falling behind Google, OpenAI, and Anthropic in the AI race for several years. This is true. While Siri can already call on ChatGPT for difficult questions, Apple now seems to be exploring a much deeper integration with technology from third-party AI providers. This is weird. This is very weird, and not like Apple at all. Um, here's the thing. If you look into how Apple does business, you'll quickly find out that they're, they, they intrinsically, um, I don't know how to put it straight to you, they don't like calling on outside sources. And the only time they really do is when they actually have a decent stake in the outside sources. They don't like going to other companies and getting their help. Um, not always, anyways. They try to be self-sufficient where absolutely possible. There's a few times where they haven't. For example, um, they'll occasion there's like Shazam and Shazam is kind of a third party company. Um, there's that one time where uh, where they were trying to bundle a web browser into um, Mac OS and they ended up bundling Internet Explorer. Um, that kind of rattled the Apple scene. That was way back then, though. But it, there's only a few cases where I can really safely say that Apple was partnering with a third-party company to add a core feature to one of their products. And this is weird. They, they focus solely on trying to do things themselves and not asking for uh, outside assistance. They try so desperately to make things in-house. So this is a really big 180 for them if they do go ahead and use OpenAI or Anthropics models. And it's, it's strange. Now, 
I can kind of see where they're going with this if they don't have much confidence in themselves as a company to try and make in-house AI and they just need to get some kind of AI functionality in their product now. Um, if this is just a, a matter of scrambling to get AI into their product and they're not confident that they're going to be able to do it uh, on their own, then eh, I guess I can kind of see where they're coming from, but this isn't an attitude that Apple really holds. They, they focus so heavily on doing things themselves. So this is weird. Like, Apple is probably one of the most secretive, closed-down, walled garden companies out there. They hire ex-military for their security and make some of their employees wear body cams, and that's not a joke. Like, and I'm not talking about, like, the security employees. I'm talking about, like, the engineers. They make some of the engineers literally wear body cams. Like, we're talking about a company that's so walled off and so contained within itself that like they've gone through they they've they've gone through like hell and earth to try to get like to try to get certain people sued because they leaked something about like a new iPhone or something these people don't mess around they are one of the most secretive tech companies out there and and it's just not like them to go out and start looking for third party providers like it's just genuinely not like them. So this is weird. I don't I don't get it. I, I'm just gonna be honest. I don't I don't get it. Um I don't know how this will pan out and only time will tell, but it's something I saw and I figured I'd talk about it because again, it's just it's strange. That's about it for today's video. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Like, comment, subscribe, take care of you guys, and remember to stay safe out there.